Welcome back everyone. In this video I wanted to go over a few things about Tough Stuff Alpha rooftop tent and our truck bed storage solution ideas and how we have everything organized. But before I get into that I wanted to tell you it is Easter weekend and it's cold. Crazy weather in Florida. Last, last weekend we had a high of 90 degrees and then last night we had to worry about frost. We had a light frost. It got down to 35 degrees, had to get water on the blueberry plants, the spring garden, get some hot water, not hot water, but warmer water to get on those plants to keep them healthy and strong so they get through that cold temperature we had last night. But with all that aside, let's get back to the truck, tent, and the storage solutions. I'm not gonna do a like or dislike in this video, but I will say this, I am liking so much about this Tough Stuff Alpha rooftop tent. Uh, one thing I'll highlight real quick is the mattress. To me, it's comfortable. I'm really enjoying it. For my wife, we had to get her a little, uh, one of those air mattresses that automatically inflate, just unscrew the tab and the air goes in and fills it up. And that's perfect, that's all she really needed for this. Uh, but we'll get into a like and dislike in another video. But the reason I had it open today, well, to show you for one thing, but the other thing is this awning that's on here gets in the way of the poles for this uh, rain fly for the window. And I need to do a few things with that. One, the holes weren't drilled out good. I couldn't get the stick to stick in good. But two, the awning's in the way. So I'm gonna try to lengthen the poles uh, to make that better and if anybody has any solutions that they've come up with please put them in the comment below I'd love to hear it because this is something I'm going to be working on to try to get right uh, but I have been just velcroing that rain fly down and opening the windows inside and it lets in a great breeze especially on a breezy night near the ocean uh, it's great because you've got the vent way up top and the air just gets underneath this flap it goes in and vents right up through the top and it makes for a great night's sleep. Uh, I'm really enjoying everything about it so far, but enough with the tent and we'll talk about that more. Those are other videos down the road. But let's talk, talk about the truck storage solution. Now before I even get into that, I just want to say we are weekend warriors right now. We're not full-time overlanding. We are going to what some people might call glamping campgrounds, nice little campsites, but they're primitive. And we're going to sites that have electricity and water at some places, but we are taking our own so we can survive and do things our way. So when we do get into more overlanding trips, we'll be prepared. And that's what we've been doing is setting the truck up for that. I got a few more things I need to do the truck, bumper wise, winch wise, uh, but I'll get into all that down the road. Uh, first off, I want to say in the truck itself, in the back of the truck, in the cab, I have all my emergency and bug out supplies that I need, first aid kit, all that stuff. So before anybody says, I watched your video, you don't have any first aid, all of that is in the truck. It's in the cab of the truck. I don't have to pull anything out of the back to get to it. It's all in an easy location for me to get to secure and I let everybody with me know where it is in case something happens to me they can find it and get the stuff they need in an emergency situation this is just stuff I leave in the truck bed all the time truck bed storage solution it might help you give you some ideas and that's what we're trying to do here all right now like I mentioned we are just weekend warriors and this is stuff we're learning as we go we're working on as we go and I'm just going to show you like when we pull into the camp everything I have to pull out and how easy or hard it is to get to and maybe some ideas to improve it and maybe you have some ideas to improve it, let me know that as well. All right, first thing is this uh, non-stick pot. I realized the last uh, couple times I've been out, uh, we've been fishing and catching a lot of trout, tons of trout and redfish. And I, when I have a fish fry or I blacken fish, I like to make grits with that. Fish and grits is, is great. Uh, you know, a little cheddar cheese in the grits makes it even better, but I needed a nice non-stick pan for the grits, so that's what this is for. And I didn't have it on my last trip and I missed it. So I'm gonna add this to the kitchen tote today. All right, so let's get into this and show you what we got here. The first thing I wanna show you is what I have in the milk crates. Uh, in black buckets and there's a reason for that. This one will do first. Black 
black bucket, black lid, five gallon bucket. I fill this up with water, put it in the sun, it heats up, and this is what we use for showering with, okay? We have this rechargeable pump. It's a little bit dirty, but uh, it's, this recharges. You plug it in, pumps the water up, and my wife and the girls, you know, they need a shower, they need to clean up, or we were fishing, they need to clean up. Easily done right here with this. Uh, I have buckets, not buckets, but big uh, six gallon water jugs that I put on the left side here. I don't have those, but in some of my other videos, you can see them in the truck. And if I, if I, and near fresh water, I just fill this up, or if there's water at a campsite, I'll fill this up and let it heat up in the sun, and then you have hot water. You can always put it on a camp stove and heat it up and add it to this if you want it hot. This last crate is easy access miscellaneous supplies. Now for the Plano storage totes. Yeah, there's a lot more fancy totes out there, Pelican storage boxes, and I'm not saying I'm not gonna end up with those someday, and I, I plan to do some more storage using those Pelican boxes. And there's lots of other brands out there, but these are cheap. I shouldn't say cheap, they're relatively inexpensive, and they work great. Uh, first one I got here has got this, I got the bungee on to hold this, but I have a tarp for, uh, it's like an eight by eight tarp. And I put that under the annex, we set up the annex room, or uh, if we're in a dirty area and um, maybe to keep rain off our shoes if we're cooking back here in this back area. And this table obviously, you know, you open the legs up on it, it's got adjustable height. So it's always good to have a table at your campsite. These totes are all on wheels also. That's a good thing about them. This one has my emergency supplies in it. Uh, I have jumper cables. I have uh, MRE uh, ready to go meals that I can just add water to. I've got charcoal, it keeps it dry. I've got more lighter wood. I've got uh, different size hitches. I have bearings and seals and hubs for the boat trailer. Uh, I will be adding some gear as far as uh, if we were in a situation where we needed to winch to a tree and pull out and you know maybe get pulled out by somebody who have different ropes and things like that I'm gonna add to this. I'm looking at different kits that I could put in here and have ready to go for those situations. I have a backup air mattress, uh, tire, uh, tire irons and different things that we would need for miscellaneous uh, emergency situations and backup gear. You never know when you need some tubing uh, for siphoning. I got some extra rags and things like that all on this tote. In the back, I know it's probably hard for you to see, but I have, uh, let me take this up a little closer so you can see it. I have a tarp all the way in the back corner, and that's a bigger tarp. It would cover the whole campsite. Inside my camp kitchen, I usually set it up right on the end of the tailgate here, just like this. I'll put the camp stove here, and I'll have a water jug on the side. But everything fits in there really nice and tight. Uh, it's got everything I need in here. I'm gonna. I'll break this down and show you what all I've got in there. Okay, the camp kit. I would say this is the second most important thing I have in this tote for making coffee. There's nothing like uh, fresh coffee in the morning when you're camping, especially whether you're making it on a campfire or on a camp stove. Love it. And when you see it percolate and you hear it and smell it, See the percolator, coffee going up and down through that glass bulb on top, and get you ready for the day.
In this tote or this bag, I've got uh, my knife kit. This is a Dickies bag. I've got kitchen utensils, uh, knives, tongs, spatulas. Everything I'll need to cook with is in this bag. I'm gonna keep some uh, paper and plastic. Uh, these can be rewashed. Paper, obviously, we can dispose of uh, with our trash or campfire if we need to. Uh, help start a fire with. All that's here in the bag. And we have extra Ziploc bags there. So if we need them for food storage or cleaning fish, I always like to have extra Ziploc bags for that. This is a pretty cool uh, cutting board. You can wash on this or you can use it as a, uh, a sink to wash your dishes in. It's collapsible. So it saves space, but it's a pretty cool storage idea. You can just put it down on it, smash it down, use it as a cutting board or uh, uh, wash your hands in or dishes, whatever you need to do. Obviously we got some dish soap to clean up with. I keep some uh, coarse kosher salt in there to help clean the iron skillets with, uh, or you know, for seasoning food, obviously. Tin foil, you never know when you're gonna need that. This hooks up to our uh, five pound propane tank, which is not here right now, but uh, you hook this to it and then run that to the camp stove. So what we do is we set our camp stove up here, run the propane off the side to a five pound tank. It lasts longer than the little green bottles, but uh, it's nice to have. And I got a, by the way, I got a buddy heater. I'm gonna try to use that when on the cold nights in the winter, uh, give us more opportunity to get out and camp. So that's another reason you want the bigger five gallon tank as opposed to the little green cylinders. Paper towels, you're gonna to need those when you're camping, especially with kids, you got matches. I've got my seasoning, and I've got the little uh, silica gel packs in here to keep the moisture from uh, getting to my seasoning too bad. I mean, it's gonna happen no matter what. But I keep all this stuff as much as I can in Ziploc bags. I keep extra bags. I have extra bags in the toilet bucket, extra bags here for trash. You don't ever want to leave anything at the campsite. Clean up as much as you can. Uh, got the lodge pans for uh, disposable, so it makes cleaning up easier for uh, casserole, breakfast dishes, all that good stuff. And I use this, uh, it's a little scraper for scraping the, the cast iron if I need to. And I saw this, I think it was on Epic, family road trip, they put their cast iron in brown paper bags. So I have my multi-purpose grill or uh, griddle top surface. Again, I season it up, put it in a brown paper bag so that it doesn't rust. It helps preserve it, let make it last a little longer. And the good thing about the paper bag, helps absorb the grease, uh, whatever fat might be there. So it keeps it clean and keeps the grease from getting all over everything else. You know, we're in Florida, there's a lot of humidity. The moisture is gonna be there, but you gotta do as much as you can to keep the moisture out of the back, especially when you're leaving it in the back of the truck. So that's why I'm using the brown paper bags. I've got extra brown paper bags in there for, uh, you know, you never know when you need it to help start a fire or for if you need to reuse them for the cast iron pans. Got my Dutch oven ready to go. And then my fire tools. I have, if I'm cooking on a big uh, fire pit, you know, I've got spatulas, tongs, bigger tongs. Got some fire sticks for you know hot dogs, sausage, or you know I use these to help turn the fire with. Also, uh, big cutting boards, uh, and in the bottom, I've got camp cookers. These are I think uh, 
You can get these at Walmart. I got this. I can't remember where I got this one, but I've seen them at Walmart, uh, Roll King. Most of those outdoor sporting areas will have these in there. And these are cool to camp with. It was in one of our videos. We made some uh, food by the fire with them. You know, if you don't want to break out the stove and you got a campfire going, you make grilled cheese. The kids like to put pie filling and bread, butter the bread, put it in there, and uh, make some stuff over the campfire with these. You can make pizza type dishes with them, put some burgers in there, you know, multi purpose. So, again, that's what we got in our three totes and our storage in the truck. It's pretty empty now. I got to load it all back up. But, like I said, leave some comments below. Love to hear what you, uh, what you think of it and maybe some ideas you have to improve it. Maybe something I'm missing. Again, just want to remind everyone I said I have all my emergency. Uh, some first aid supplies in the truck so you know I didn't show you all that but it is there this is just what I leave in the back of the truck so it's if I'm out fishing I have all this stuff here I can just easily I have everything here I can spend the night just pop the rooftop tent spend the night down there at the beach and uh, get up and fish again the next morning that's what I've been doing lately over spring break and uh, really that's really one of the great things about this tough stuff rooftop tent I can tow the boat, I got the tent, I got all the gear I need. For example, this was last week's camping and fishing trip. One more thing I wanted to show you before I end this video is uh, this plugs into the seven pin on the back of the truck, seven pin connector. Plug a cigarette lighter adapter in here, it shows you the red light for power and power's on. And you plug this into it and I could plug another cigarette lighter adapter in here if I needed to. But this will give me a USB connection and it gives me a constant readout on the voltage of the battery. So I know, you know, I know when to cut it off if I'm if I'm running lights on the tent or charging a cell phone. But I mentioned earlier I need to get a battery power pack. Uh, that will take place of this, but for right now, you know, the RAM. Most diesel trucks have two batteries in, and I know the batteries are good, but again, this gives me a readout of my voltage on the battery, so I don't drain them too low. But temporarily, that's what I'm using for power. Uh, I also have a solar charger that I hook up to the truck to help top that off during the day. We're in Florida, so we get lots of sunshine, and that helps keep the power topped off on the truck. But again, I know I need to get a battery power pack, and that's what I'm gonna work on next, but another uh, quick, tip for you here this works really well plugs into the seven pin cigarette lighter adapter gives you a voltage readout and you can plug your tent usb cell phone charger if you need some power you know temporarily i wouldn't say to drain your battery dry on it because you're gonna have trouble you're gonna need the jumper cables but i want to show you real quick everything inside here is wrapped up uh, got the tent put up it took me about took me about two minutes to get all this packed up into the back of the truck. And uh, I think it came out pretty nice. Got get a light on there for you so you can see inside. It's tight, but we got it all in there. All right, see you next time. Here's K and D Productions to tell you. We'll see y'all next time. We'll be on the tractor and on the trail.